I bought this medium hat jack. It's supposed to be seven and eight to seven and a half. If you look at, first of all, you got a two piece. If you take it apart, one of these are a little bit smaller than the other one. So that will go in the front. If you can see here, you got a gap. And what happens with this, it's just too, you can see it's too wide. And when I start stretching it, I'm going to, make this because I only need to stretch it a little bit I don't need to stretch it very much and um, so I'm going to trim these edges off as I've marked them with a pen so what you do is to fix that I'm going to show you how to do that first okay so we're going to do is unscrew this thing and get this these two pieces separated so first thing I did is I mark the back and the front so when you get to working on it you'll know which one's worked Okay, all I did was just spin this, this piece off of that thing in the middle. And here's your front piece. Okay, so what I did was take you a piece of cardboard. This is like the top of a shoe box here. I'm doing this by hand, so it's not going to do very good. So what you do is you take your pen... Let me hold this thing. Okay, take the pen, draw your line around the, the deal. Then you're going to do is you're going to cut it out. Once you get it cut out, you just need a piece, about like what I've got here. And you're going to stick it in here, and it's going to be too fat. So. As you see, as you can see now, I've got this thing fitting a little bit closer to what the actual hat shape is in the front. All right, so I've got a little more. This is just my template. Okay, so then what I do, you see these lines right here on the edges. Put this up here. Get it even. Okay, now I've got my lines. and I'm going to take my belt sander. And I'm going to sand those down to that line. Now, if you'll notice this thing, it's got a, it's a contoured. It's not perfectly square the way they built this. Which, so when you're sanding it, you've got to be careful. You see the angle right there. you got to stay with that same angle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my belt sander and I'm going to smooth that out. Okay. I'll be back with that in just a minute. Okay, here's the belt sander, and I'm going to turn it on. It's pretty loud, but I'm just basically going to look over here just a second. It's nice and junky in my shop, so I'll take this thing and, and just work this thing on that sander that's turning. I might have to put the pause it, but I'm going to just kind of do it like this as I'm saying. i got to maintain that same contour on the belt sander as I'm doing it. So I can get it down to that line and keep it smooth. So it's gonna be a little loud. Sand it down to the line pretty much. Let's just stick it in there and see how it looks. Okay, now you see it's a little bit better. Need to take a little bit more. Sorry about the film work. But you press that thing in there just a tad more. I think it's going to be just about right. We'll pause it for a second. Okay, I took a little bit more off. You can see the lines. I'm down to the on this left side. Like the line, a little closer to the line. I think it's close enough as it fits 